everyone, I'm Karina Gantis, your host for Behind the Pen. I am an award-winning author of 14 books, podcaster, I have my radio show, Author Assist, and I also help uh, authors with marketing and promotion through Author Assist. Today, I have a very special guest with me. His name is Evan Gow. Welcome to the show, Evan. Thank you so much for having me on. Now, Evan, as well as trying to um, publish something, I'm, I'm really going to get him to publish something. He's, <laughs> he's been writing short stories, but he's never had anything published. So he's still allowed to be on Behind the Pen. Behind the Pen is for anyone who picks up a pen, whether it's an editor, a musician, a writer, a, a director, um, an actor even that's done a book. I had Walter on the other day. That was fun. Um, Walter from Star Trek. Um, so as well as uh, Evan writing short stories, his full-time job is running, in my opinion, one of the best author tools that's out there at the moment. And we're going to talk about that and uh, how it all started and how it's developed. And he's going to show us uh, a quick run through of how it all works. So um, Evan, why did you start Story Orange? What, what, what? I mean, I, I can understand if you were an author and you had loads of books published and it was something that you thought was needed and you started it that way. What made you start Story Origin? Right. So uh, I, 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 used to, I used to write a lot of short stories. And then um, in college, I got interested in entrepreneurship and wanting to build something. Went and I worked for a little while. And then uh, it was just the right time for me to make that leap to, to try and do something. And I decided I wanted to combine my interests in you know, building something and then also writing. So I went and I talked to a bunch of authors and kind of learned about what they were doing and realized, oh, you need eight different logins and three different spreadsheets to do all of this marketing and cross promotion. And you want universal book links and reader magnets and we can get into all that stuff. Uh, but I just realized that it was so fragmented and such a, such a headache to, to do all of that. So I, I left my previous role to start Story Origin and I was planning on getting back into writing at the same time. Uh, and then quickly just Story Origin took over 100% of my time. It's blew up. It's blew up. I've yeah. been with you since 2019. When did you actually start Story Origin? So uh, Story Origin had its official launch in April of 2018 is when it became open for public signups. Um, so it was, it was very small. And, you know, the only thing you could do at that time was essentially create a reader magnet landing page, a uh, page for a book that you're giving away when someone signs up to your mailing list. And you could integrate that uh, page with a uh, couple of different email service providers so that anyone that signed up to your mailing list would automatically be sent there. Uh, and so, so yeah, that's all you could do at that time though. Yeah, I remember. So, I mean, even when I joined up at, uh, on 2019, there was more on your um, software, on your program than any others. And there are others out there, but there's nothing compared to Story Origin. Um, and even then at 2019, there was more for the authors to, uh, if I can explain what it was like before Story Origin, when you wanted to cross promote, you had to build your own um, Google form. You had to go around all the Facebook groups, leaving your form, telling them about your book and what books you're looking for to cross promote. You go back to your form and see if there's anybody that signed it and you'd have to email them, contact them. They'll send you their book details. You send you your book details. And it was, it was a, it was a, it, it was a routine. It wasn't a mess. There was a routine. There was a way of doing it. And we were used to doing that until Evan came up with Story Origin and made it so easy for all us authors. And over the years, he's just built on and on and on this platform that has grown into more than just a place to cross promote your book. Um, I know for a fact, uh, when I've spoken to authors and uh, I talk about cross promotion and they were like, oh, well, I might do it now and again. I was like, what? No, 
or they'll say oh yeah I do one cross promotion in my newsletter and I was like what so I explained to them what happens what happens with cross promotion for those that don't know you have three authors okay they have a thousand subscribers for their newsletter you have a thousand subscribers they write in the same genre as you so you contact them and you say here you go I have this book give me your book you've got three you've got a potential of course they don't open 3,000 newsletters but you've got a potential of 3,000 people seeing your book for the first time knowing you as an author for the first time and then they've in your newsletter is going to your readers who read their kind of books so you're introducing them to new authors and they love you for that and this actually refers to sales I've never not got a sale from one of my newsletters from cross promotion so it works but we're going to go back to to Evan and we're going to um, go on to story origin and he's going to run through it a little bit and show you what he does on there what he's um, created on there to help us even more than just with the cross promotion so Evan over to you all right perfect so here we are on story origin uh, you can see that I'm logged in under my own account here this is the home page where you can learn about all the various features of story origin but really if you're an author where you're going to be spending most of your time is if you come here and once you've logged in, you go to your author dashboard, you can see the, the huge range of various features that you might use on Story Origin. I'm sure a lot of authors, they'll probably get intimidated by just seeing all the uh, number of things that you can do when you <laughs> first join Story Origin. But if you go to any one of the individual tabs, uh, the first place I recommend starting is just reading the description there. And then there's a link to a video tutorial uh, for most of the tabs across story origin that you might use. And then there is also a, a guide to um, a few of the different things like how to build your mailing list if you're starting from zero. Uh, and you can see that I put a lot of uh, a lot of test things on my account as I'm, as I'm uh, uh, just playing around with things. Um, so, so yeah, there's uh, a few different areas that we might get started. Karina was talking about group promotions. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. I'll go to browse the upcoming uh, group promotions. Here you can see the list of upcoming group promotions and there are a bunch of different types. So you can run giveaways for building your mailing list, Kindle Unlimited if you're trying to increase your page reads, uh, sales if you're trying to increase sales, reviews for eBooks and then audiobook reviews as well. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at um, some of the uh, a giveaway just as an example to see what one of those looks like. So here's where you would see information about the uh, group promotion if you want to apply to join. You can see other authors that are part of it. And then this one hasn't started yet, so there's still still time to join. I will I'll hit preview here and you can see this is what it looks like. So when Karina, you were talking about, you know, you and a few other authors to get together and you all have a mailing list, you all share uh, that promotion. This is the page uh, for those who are unfamiliar with this. This is sort of what you would be doing. You would all be sending your own traffic to this single landing page where you all of your books are displayed together. We're talking uh, around about 20 to 30 books. That's 20 to 30 newsletters that are going to have this link in their newsletter. And if that person is lucky enough to be clicked on, um, click on the book, it then goes to Amazon and tells you more about the book and you can buy it if you want. These are all free. So there's no problem for clicking on all of them and downloading all of them if you wanted. But because there's 30 books, it, your book for the first time is going to be in 30 newsletters that you've never been in before. And of course, your book is going to be in that category, whether it's um, mystery, thriller, a sci-fi, fantasy, they're all different groups, um, all different uh, cross promotions for the genres that you write in. Me, I'm a prolific author, I write in every single genre, so I could fit into any category. Um, so with these group ones, you've got more of a chance 
of uh, being seen in more newsletters, but also maybe less of a chance of being clicked on because you've got a lot of competition in that uh, one um, page there. But with this, the single cross promotions, which uh, Evan will show us now how they work. Yeah. So that those are group promotions, right? So everyone's sending their, their traffic to those one page. So you can think of that as a sort of a, a you know, a group, group effort. Then there are also something else called newsletter swaps. And a lot of people who are new to this term typically think, okay, a newsletter swap, am I, am I like swapping my mailing list with someone? Am I supposed to hand over my subscriber info to them? Uh, that's definitely not what a newsletter swap is. Uh, don't don't share your subscriber, uh, your individual subscriber data with anybody or anything like that. A newsletter swap is simply an agreement between two authors to mention each other in their own newsletters. So, uh, Karina, I would mention your book in my newsletter to a thousand subscribers. You would mention my book to uh, your newsletter of a thousand subscribers. And the thing that is really helpful here is so those group promotions when you send readers in your in your uh, newsletter to those group promotions, you're sending them to a landing page that, that has a whole bunch of authors in it. When you're doing a newsletter swap, you're directly mentioning that other author's book in your newsletter. So typically you'll get there, you'll grab their book cover, um, maybe you'll grab a, a blurb or a short description and throw that in your newsletter as well. And you'll link directly to their, their landing page uh, uh, from there. So it's a great way to directly have a specific book promoted to, to an audience uh, that another author is, is, has from their newsletter. This is what I, I love about this uh, cross promotion page. Um, where tags, you can actually put what your book uh, genre is, um, what sort of uh, plot is in it, you know, so you'd have like um, a fantasy, romance, magic, and you have these tabs, and then you're looking for something similar because you know your readers on your subscriber list likes those kind of books. So you put your uh, tags in, and then what will come up are all the people that are on Story Origin that write using those tag words. And as you can see here, you have the uh, list size of how many subscribers they have, which is very important. The open rate, which is basically how many uh, newsletters are actually clicked on when they're sent out. I mean, I have about 2000 subscribers. Sometimes I get um, 300 people clicking. Sometimes I get 100 people clicking. It, it changes all the time. So it's good to keep an eye on the open rate. And the click rate, of course, is when some uh, stranger opens a newsletter and clicks on one of the clicks. It could be for a book, it could be um, for a link, a direct link somewhere. These are your click rates. Again, the tags are there. So you just make sure that they do the same sort of books that you do and you know your readers are going to enjoy. Whereas my readers, they love everything. So I don't have a problem with that. And when you're happy and you think that person would be perfect for your newsletter, then you'll click on it. And then you contact them through um, Story Origin. It's all done through Story Origin. Um, you tell them what you've got, you show them the books, they know then what your click rate is, they know what your open rate is, they know what your book is like, and then they say yes or no, and that's it. And then you get an email saying that uh, someone has uh, agreed to swap with you. And this is what I love about Story Origin is you get told everything that happens behind the scenes, you're told through email. So you're not missing out on anything when there's um, an acceptance or someone has actually contacted you because it looks like they want to con take your book onto their newsletter. It's all sent to you through email so you don't miss anything. So it's not that you have to go on here every five seconds and check to see if someone's accepted your uh, request to cross promote. It comes to your email, right? I'll shut up now. That's right. Yeah. And um, I guess one of the other things to mention about um, newsletter swaps is, uh, you know, you can, you can 
here you can sort through, you can, you can list, um, list what tags you're related to, but you also have the send date for when an author's newsletter is actually planning to go out. So if you were running a discount during a, a certain period of time, um, maybe, maybe you're running a 99 cent promotion or a free promotion or something like that, and you really want to boost your downloads or sales during that specific time frame, so that you can get them to go on to buy a full priced version of book number two or something of the sort, right? Which is a <laughs> common uh, strategy, right? <laughs> um, you can, you can make sure that you're, you're targeting getting into newsletters for specific time frames for when, when your uh, book is going to be discounted and stuff like that. And then the other thing that story origin adds here is uh, we, we were talking about how group promotions, you back in the day, you had to do all this through some combination of Google forms and building the landing pages on your own website and, and all that stuff. You know, you, you would have to do the same thing for running newsletter swaps uh, without using Story Origin, right? So you use Google Forms, you, you try and get some other authors to reach out to you uh, that might want to might wanna do a newsletter swap with you. And then maybe you take the extra time to create like a bit.ly tracking link for them. So you actually know how many clicks that they got on it. That's um, right. <laughs> and, and you have to email back and forth with everyone that applies to either say, hey, you know, this isn't going to work for me. I don't think this is, is a good fit or, or yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do it. You know, here's the date that I'll send you out. Here's my information. And doing all that back and forth can be very time consuming. So a lot of authors you know, back in the day, they would get into newsletter swaps and then they would say, uh, this takes too much time for me. You know, even though it's a great tactic for actually selling books, it's taking a lot of time. And so Story Origin does all of that stuff that we were just talking about, does it all for you automatically, right? Mm -hmm. If someone applies to a newsletter swap with you, you just accept or decline that request. And you already have all that information about their mailing list, when their data is going out, uh, what book they want you to promote, all that stuff. Uh, so it, it takes a lot of the hassle out of it. And then the other great thing is uh, if you're just doing newsletter swaps directly with people via like Facebook groups and stuff like that, you don't really have any transparency into whether or not they're the type of person that actually upholds their end of a bargain or if they are just, you know, going going to come along for a free ride. So you end up promoting their book and then they never end up actually including your book in their newsletter. One thing uh, that Story Origin does is makes that all transparent. So when you do newsletter swaps with other authors through Story Origin, you can see how many clicks they've gotten on past swaps that they've done. And so you, you know that you can trust the person on the other end of that, uh, that they're going to actually be, be sort of, uh, participating in that cross promotion and not just uh getting a free ride another thing i, I love um if we can go back to the the main author dashboard um is yep. once the newsletter's gone out it actually shows you how many clicks your book has got from that person's newsletter and i think that's amazing because uh, then of course you run over to amazon see if you had any sales it doesn't mean you had sales but it means that someone's was interested and had a look closer at your book. Um, when we have the uh, reader magnet, reader magnets, what that does is it gets people to subscribe. You're given something free. Now it doesn't have to be a full novel, especially if you're a brand new uh, debut novelist, you're not gonna give your book free, but a short story or an excerpt from a novel. Okay, thank you very much. So this would be your reader magnet. And basically what they would do is they would click on it. They would take the book and you would get their email in return. And it would automatically go to your mailing list on whichever um, platform you use for your uh, email. So this is a great way of getting new subscribers with your um, reader magnet. Then there is the... Um, Universal links, which is where you you upload your book information. Thank you very much. You upload your book information so that when you are ready to um, swap with someone, you can choose whichever books 
it could be a reader magnet, it could be a book on full price, it could be a book that's on Kindle Unlimited. These links are automatically taken to your book because you've put your details of that book through Story Origin. And it takes uh, five, 10 minutes, if that, to upload you, the information that you need for Universal Book Link. And then your book is, stays there and then you decide whether to add it or not to that uh, newsletter for the cross promotion. You can add all your books to a newsletter and that gives then that person who wants to have a look at your uh, books to cross promote a chance to see a whole range of different books. I don't think I've ever done all my books. I've always tried to stick to one genre in every newsletter, which I think is, is the right way to go. Review copies. This is a, quite a new one, a newish one. Um, this is where you can actually give your book away uh, for free in return for a review. Now, uh, there, is, <laughs> there is a little downside to this, and uh, I've noticed this with my clients and myself, that uh, not everybody, unfortunately, does review the book. And it does, what, what Story Orange does, if it's past the date of when they should have put the review up, it does automatically send them a reminder, which is fantastic. But if that person deliberately took the book to take for free and had no intention of doing the review, unfortunately, that's uh, one of the um, downsides of that. But the good side is that the ones that do review, they'll review on Amazon, they'll review on their blog, they'll review on Barnes and Noble, on Goodreads. And so this new review of yours, uh, They've read your book and, and now you've got uh, new reviews for it. So this is a, a great way of getting reviews because reviews are so difficult to get out of readers, um, even on Story Origin, but they are so difficult to get. It's like you read a book and it takes like two minutes to rate and review a book, but nobody does. And it doesn't matter how much we say in our books, it's so important for an author to get these reviews. But uh, yeah, it's really, really hard. Um, and one thing, ahead. yes, sorry. Could I, 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 the one thing I do want to note on the review copies is, is that when you create a review copy, the way that it works is, um, it's not that just anyone can download the review copy that you put up on Story Origin, right? So people have to request the review copy, um, and then you get to look at the reviewer profile. So I'll go here to the uh, how to get book reviews. This is um, a new, this is a new uh, extension of um, what he started, what uh, uh, Evan started with. Um, now we can actually see how many reviews that they've actually posted. Um, yep. Which is, which is fantastic. But uh, unfortunately, we still can't contact them as authors and say, excuse me, you read my book, where's my review? That's right. So, so yeah, so when, so when they request the review copy, they would put in what sites uh, that they intend to leave the review on. And if it's on Amazon, Goodreads, or BookBub, well, they have reviewer profiles there as well. So they input the link to their reviewer profile from Amazon, Goodreads, or BookBub, if that's one of the places where they're going to review, and they, they hit submit request. And then when you go on to actually um, getting that request, you can check their reviewer profile. You can see where they intend to leave their review. Uh, and then you can uh, approve or decline it. And when you hit this check reviewer history um, button, what you'll see is other review copies that they requested from you and where they are in the process with that review copy. So if they requested book one from you and now they're requesting book two, but they never actually completed their review for book one, then you would see that right here. You don't need to go digging around in your emails or anything like that. Um, and then you can also see their completion stats for uh, the places where they they uh, might be able to leave reviews. So if they've only left, you know, two reviews out of ten review copies they've gotten mm -hmm. and said they're going to leave them on Amazon, so they only have a you know a twenty percent completion rate or two out of ten it, that it will show you that as well. You can say okay, I'm probably going to decline this person because <laughs> the probability that they're going to leave a review is not very high. Now, this, you can't... This is what I love I love about you, uh, Evan, is you just keep on building and building. It started off with just put your book on and reviewers will request a book. 
and they'll get the book and they'll review it. But you've understood the, the difficulties that we faced with this and you've made it easier for us now to, um, to uh, spy on them, we'll call it spy on them, and see how many reviews they're leaving, if they're leaving, uh, leaving reviews, where they're leaving reviews. And all of this has been added on since um, Evan first um, put up uh, the review um, part of uh, Story Origin. And, and he keeps on doing this. Anything that uh, comes up new, he just keeps on building it and making it easier and easier and easier for us. Carry on, all yours. <laughs> yeah, so so no, so Karina's totally right. So the way that I I build features on Story Origin is I'll sort of release uh, what, I, what I think is sort of the minimum amount of features that I think would make something a very good and very useful thing for authors to have. But then I get feedback from authors about, okay, this would be super helpful or like, you know, I'm having trouble here or here or here. And, you know, I'm basically, I, I, I'm the engineering department and I'm also the customer support. So I've there's got very little overhead. This. I've got to say something <laughs> about this. When I spoke to people that I was chatting with you, and I know for a fact, because I've contacted you quite a few times, your customer support, and you do this by yourself, your customer That's support right. is 100%. Everyone has said how many times that they've contacted you, you've got back to them, you've explained stuff, even if they, they don't, they're newbies, they don't know what they're doing. The way you've explained stuff is, is made it so easy for them to understand. You've never ignored emails. You've always um, replied to people and you're doing this all yourself. I think the customer service is just 100% on uh, story origin. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no. So, so, and uh, my email address is listed, you know, if you just go to the homepage on story origin and scroll to the very bottom, or if you hit the contact page, or like Karina was talking about, you get emails from Story Origin with reminders of when you're supposed to doing, be doing things, or um, you get emails about when you've been accepted into a group promotion. All of those emails, they come straight from my email address. If you have a problem or run into an issue, you just reply and you get me. Um, uh, so, so yeah, it's not it's not some uh, some bot or something like that. Mm -hmm. I am a real human. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I think you clone you. I think you've got clones hiding somewhere. I can't see yes, how you think, do it. I think some people do think I am a robot. I I will, you know, I do bleed. It does happen. Um, but yeah, no, so 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 I take a I take a lot of feedback from authors about uh about the features on Story Origin. So I'm always trying to improve them. Uh, and so being able to see a reviewer's profile. Uh, is really important because when you're giving out review copies, you want to make sure that the, the person that you're giving a review copy is actually going to leave a review. Now, you can never require a review from a reader, right? So if you give someone a review copy and they end up not leaving a review, you can't, essentially, you can never like legally require someone to leave a review for a book that you've given them. But Story Origin does its best to give you the information that you need to know there that when you're giving a book to someone to review, uh, that there's a high probability that they're actually going to follow through. Exactly, exactly. It's uh, much more um, e easier now to, um, to to check on them than it was before. Now you've got a choice of saying yes, instead of just saying, yes, someone's going to review my book. Yes, yes, yes. But now we can sit back and think, well, are they going to review the book? And now we can actually see stats to see if they are a good reviewer or not. So that really, really helps. And then as Karina was mentioning, Story Origin will say, you know, will automatically follow up with reviewers that haven't left their review within two weeks of being able to do so. So on, uh, on your uh, reviewer, on your um, list of reviewers for book, you can see who applied when you accept, accepted them, when you sent sent the links for where they could review it to, what the reviews were, and then the links to those reviews on the platforms that they said that they would leave a review on. So you can actually go and check it out there. That's brilliant. Let's go back to the author dashboard again. Yeah. Okay, so... Um... 
This, uh, what's quite new, the latest thing that I think is new is the uh, audio review codes, which mm -hmm. I've used for the first time with one of my clients. And um, that's really good because, uh, again, they might click on it and say, yes, I want your audio book, but it's up to you as the author to decide whether or not they get it. And uh, you may only have three UK codes and three US codes to give free for your audio book. Um, the people that are click clicking on it don't know how many codes are going free. So then you see all these people who would like to read your audio book and then you can decide yourself who's going to get the audio book and uh yeah this is a a new uh a new thing and i think that's brilliant because i've got my audio my first audio book coming out very very soon so i'm really excited, oh, very exciting. To, uh, to use this except it's not from acx mind you but uh, i'm sure i'll be able to use this somehow is there anything else you want to add on about the audio book codes yeah, so so giving out um, audiobook codes, it's a very similar process to what we were just going through with uh, ebook review copies. Um, so when you're giving out review copies through Story Origin, you can give those out either as a direct download from Story Origin, or if you want to, you can um, give out prepaid book links to your book on Amazon. So you know if you're in Kindle Unlimited and Amazon says that you can't distribute your book outside of Amazon. You can instead buy buy a prepaid book link for them on Amazon and give them that. That way they can redeem redeem it through Amazon and download it through them. But then you still get all the nice features of being able to hold that person accountable and, and see where they are in the review process for the book. Same thing applies to audiobook codes, but instead of distributing um, uh, a download, you're distributing promo codes that you get when you uh, publish your book through either ACX, so that's Audible, or Findaway, or uh, audiobooks.com. Uh, each one of these providers gives you promo codes that you can use to give out to readers for or listeners in this case for free. And so you only get a limited number of those. So, so you want to be very um, diligent with how you give them out. And so all of those great features about being able to see a reviewer's history of how many books they've actually reviewed uh, are all come super in handy um, because before storage and authors were just doing this without any idea about whether or not someone would actually leave a review and they were tracking this all through like spreadsheets and, and everything else. Uh, it was quite time consuming. And then uh, that this is one of those features that came out of authors just emailing me like, hey, I've got these I've got these promo codes and I don't know what to do with them or how to how to manage them. Can you help me out here? Uh, and I said, okay, I think this makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's, a, it's a new thing and it's uh, I can't wait to, to use it myself. But um, back going back before you actually did this, people were taking codes and they weren't taking the book. And so they were giving codes out and nobody was actually, they took the code, but then they didn't actually get the book or they tried to um, craftily tell Amazon um, I, I want a different book or, or to, uh, or to uh, sell it. And uh, there was a lot going on um, that shouldn't have happened uh, when you were giving out these uh, review codes to strangers. Um, so this way it keeps you safe and it's a good way of doing it. The other thing I want to mention is that it, when you did gold trackers, I didn't know what it was at first and I clicked on it and I was working on a new book. I was like, oh, wow. And I didn't know, you know, I was like, well, what's this got to do with cross promotion? But I didn't know how much this would help me. And it really does. I mean, I'm not one of those people that would give myself a daily uh, writing Thing of a you have to write 1500 words every day I couldn't do that but I knew where in the in the months I wanted to finish and how many words I wanted to get up to and this gold tracker really helped me and um, it's got nothing to do with cross promotion this is all to do with authors working on a book and keeping a track of um, how many words they do a day re recording it on here and it automatically will tell you how far you've got to go. 
and uh, you see the line going up and up and up and it's just so sweet <laughs> when you finally hit that goal it just feels so sweet so I don't know if you want to add anything more to that Evan I would just say that your ex your exact experience is very common um I have authors all the time who who say you know, I saw this gold tracker thing on store origin, wasn't really sure about it. I decided to try it out and it, it changed, it changed everything, right? Like they, they, they figured they just got so much more motivation from being able to track, you know, how they're doing, how they're progressing yeah. what, against a goal. And then being able to see, you can see, you know, store origin says what your current uh, daily target is for how many words that you need to write today in order to reach your end goal. Now you don't need to write that number of words today. <laughs> and <right>? you don't. <laughs> um, and, and a lot of authors, you know, you're not, you have weekends, you have days off, right? Exactly. Um, um, but Story Origin will just keep track of every day. Look, you know, if, if, if you don't, if, if you take today off, then tomorrow your daily, your daily target is going to just increase a little bit. And then and then you 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 get some words down and your your target decreases and um, it's just a great way to stay motivated and I've heard that from so many different authors and so yeah you know story origin this is this doesn't have anything to do with cross promotion um, or or getting reviewers or increasing your mailing uh, the size of your mailing list or increasing your sales this is more just about story origin being a sort of a one-stop shop for helping you manage every aspect of your author business. Exactly. This this is why I say, in my opinion, it's one of the best author tools out there because it's not just for reader magnets. And you, there are other places that just do reader magnets. It's just one little program. You put your book on and, and then you send people to that one page. Um, reader magnet, cross-promotion, group promotions, reviews, the the goal trackers. I, I can only imagine what you've got in your head for the for the future. But uh, let's just, um, you started, like you said, in 2018. We are now in 2021. And you've been in what we call um, a, a beta program all that time. All of this has been free to all the authors. And um, it's time now for for poor old Evan, who's worked his butt off um, and cloned himself like 30 times to, to start making a, a living from it and, and well deserved as well. And what I've heard from Evan through uh, email is that uh, the people that are on now, the ones, the members that are here now uh, are going to still the, the beta stops in April, but they're still going to be allowed another three months of using Story Origin for free, even though the new members will start um, uh, paying. And uh, he's got some special offers as well that he's uh, he'll tell you about in a minute. And uh, from as far as I know, everything that we get free now will still be included with this one price which works out ten dollars a month that's it ten dollars a month and you still get all this and of course i hope that any other upgrades or anything new that uh, evan puts on will be included in that uh, price still and uh, we won't uh, go up in in membership or, or anything but uh, i think it's well worth the money and i think it's about time that uh, poor evan started uh, making some money from it after all the work he's done. And a beta program is normally about six months. What happened, Evan? <laughs> that, that's, a good, that's a good question. I asked myself too. Um, uh, so yeah, so, so Story Origin is currently still what, in, uh, what I call an open beta. So open beta in this case doesn't mean that it's you know crappy software that doesn't work correctly, right? There have, as Karina has said, she she uses it quite quite frequently. Um, there are thousands of authors that use Story Origin. Uh, so what Open Beta meant in this case is, uh, or means in this case is, it's uh, 
it's free for now while I'm still, you know, building features and in, 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 um, in testing, you know, uh, figuring out the, the roadmap for where I want to go. Uh, and I just want to have a maniacal focus on building the best in class features for each one of the things that story origin does. I didn't want to have to deal with, um, deal with a lot of the other headaches that come with, you know, uh, billing and, uh, invoicing and all the, these other things, which take, a, take away time from, uh, uh, just increasing how good a product story origin is. So, so yeah, it's been battle tested plenty of times, um, across all the various features. Uh, and so the deal that I'm offering is. Uh, if you sign up, if you, if you sign up now, even if you sign up now, uh, so, so story origin is launching out of beta on April 9th. Uh, if you sign up, uh, if you sign up from now until then, uh, you will be able to, uh, get a promo code, uh, to upgrade your account and keep all of story origins, uh, uh, all of story origins features free for the next three months. Uh, and then uh, the monthly plan is ten dollars per month. After that, or you can, if you if you know you want to use Story Origin, you want to use it uh, for the long term, you really like it. Uh, the deal that I'm offering during the launch period is if you sign up to an annual plan, you'll get a thirty percent lifetime discount. So for the lifetime of your subscription, as long as you say, stay subscribed, you will get thirty percent off of the annual uh, plan. So the annual plan is $100 per year. So 30% off that means it would be only $70 per year. Amazing. But if you divide that by 12 months, it's only $5.83 per month uh, for all of Story Origins features. Um, and if, you know, if you tried to cobble together everything that Story Origin did, um, the amount of time that it would just take, like it, it, it it, it will save you that in spades just just from the amount of time that you save not having to deal with um having to go you know to like eight different logins and three different spreadsheets and email and facebook groups and google forms and everything else yeah so. everything is here in one place but i mean what are you planning on for the future i know once we get out of beta you're not going to stop i know I can definitely not. You're not. No, you're going to keep on growing it. And I'm just wondering if you can give us a, a hint of what might be coming up. Yeah. Um. So so I'm going to be announcing a few different things uh, during the launch period for Story Origin. I'm going to keep those under wraps yes, for now. So okay. Uh, right. I like to play it close <laughs> to the vest. Um. Uh. But yeah, so 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 no, I'll be I'll be announcing a few new things. Um, I think it's generally, you know, a few of them will be upgrades to existing features. Um, something else will, you know, be kind of like a new feature. Um, so so yeah, there's still plenty coming, and and all of that will be included with uh, with the same plan that you'll you'll get on at launch. It's not going to be like a part of a, a different thing. So that that's uh, really good because yeah. that's a, a lot of places do do that. Um, they they add some stuff, but then they say, "Oh, you have to upgrade to get it," and and you're not doing that. And like I said, three uh, since 2018 for this to be free, and and everyone's using it for free, and it's just it's one of the best tools out there and it covers everything that uh, every um, uh, every professional author needs. And um, I know from what you've done so far in this time, that I'm just very excited to hear what's coming up that you're keeping under the vest, I understand that. Um, so I'm really excited to see where this goes, but uh, it's an amazing tool and I hope that uh, authors that are watching this um, program uh, learn from it and uh, and join up and certainly get that uh, big discount because that's that's awesome that's nearly nearly half price in the end if you work work it out right. nearly half price a month um, and all the authors that uh, um, all the uh, readers that are out there and uh, watching this episode which I know there will be um, you can see how 
we don't, I mean, the hardest part for us is, the easiest part is writing the book. The hardest part for us is promoting and marketing the book. And this tool is the perfect tool for that. And you can see as a reader what we have to do and organize to get that book out to you. Even if it's a 99 cents book that took us 10, 15 years to write, I want you to understand what goes behind the scenes. Um, there's blood, sweat and tears, probably, yes. Um, it's a lot of time. Um, it's a lonely business. And um, what Evan's created for us authors is just a fantastic platform. And I hope as a reader, you see this and you, you go on and, and you review some of these uh, amazing free books that are offered to you and you actually review them because we do need reviews. Um, Evan, anything you want to add? I just, on, on that last note there, if, if any readers do go to storyoriginapp.com, they just can click here uh, if they're looking for ebooks or audiobooks and they can see all the currently running um, uh, group promotions for review copies. So if you want to go ahead and you awesome. want to uh, review some ebooks or or get some audiobooks. You can go ahead and check those out. Uh, uh, authors definitely find those reviews very helpful. So we certainly do. Yes. So yeah, there's even a place for the uh, you readers to come. You just click on that link, and uh, it will take you where you can read some uh, amazing books. Um, I know for a fact that uh, most of or nearly every author on this. Um, platform is a professional author. Um, they may be a debut author and just starting their mailing list, um, but they wouldn't be here if they weren't serious in writing. So you can guarantee that the books that are on and available for you to read are going to be really, really good. And there are so many New York Times best-selling authors, award-winning authors like myself uh, on Story Origin. So you can guarantee to find an excellent book in any genre you enjoy. Thank you. Um, can we get back uh, to uh, see you again, Evan? Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much for going through the uh, the site there and, and showing uh, everybody how it works because um, like you say you, you first click on it you're like oh my god what do I do with this and um, hopefully that will help them and you've got the I mean you've got the videos and you've got the people like me that uh, do training and help people uh, and show them how to use uh, Story Origin which I shall continue to do as well because as I say in my opinion, it is one of the best author tools out there. Um, Evan, thank you so much. I know you're not feeling too great at the moment. So thank you so much for spending time with us, going through that and uh, being a guest on Behind the Pen. Um, I wish you huge, huge success with this business, uh, especially when it comes out in, in April. Um, and I hope, uh, I, I know it will be worth all those years of hard work you've put in. I know, I know you're going to get that back uh, four times and, and you deserve it. And uh, a one man show, I mean, who would, who would imagine <laughs> what you've created? And like I said, the, the customer service being a hundred percent amazing and it's a one man show. And I don't, I don't believe that. I really honestly <laughs> believe you have clones hiding in your house. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for being a guest on behind the pen. Uh, and uh, I wish you all the best with uh, Story Origin. Thank you again so, so much for having me on.